But first at nine tonight, a baby born with fentanyl in his system and in need of life-saving treatment is safe tonight. This after he was stolen from a hospital by his own mother. It's what prompted the Amber Alert we told you about last night at nine. The mother was found with the baby last night, and now we're learning more details about what exactly happened. Lindsay Regis joins us live to explain what was revealed in court today. Yeah, so we're learning that that baby is going through drug withdrawals. Now, when Santana and the baby were found, Santana was unconscious on a bed with drugs next to her. Miss Santana? Uh, Miss Santana, your date of birth, please. 41899. 24-year-old Rosa Santana told police she had her three other children removed from her custody. When she learned baby Santana tested positive for fentanyl, she took him from the hospital. Santana removed her five-day-old baby uh, from the pediatric intensive care unit. Uh, after learning that the infant had tested positive for fentanyl uh, and was most likely going to be removed by the Department of Child Safety. Court documents reveal the newborn had fentanyl in his umbilical cord sample, indicating long-term fentanyl use by Santana. There was no fentanyl around my, around my son. Last night, police found Santana unconscious on a bed with paper of powder residue consistent with fentanyl. Her baby was on the bed next to her. I never wanted any of this to happen. I never tried to hurt my own son. I was just trying to avoid a bunch of bunch more drama. According to court documents, Santana left the hospital and picked up her boyfriend. She was later found at her boyfriend's daughter's apartment in West Phoenix. When I did pull into the complex around the front, they were searching vehicles that were coming and going. Two officers inspected two vehicles, opened all doors and trunk. Santana told police she fed the baby at the apartment, and once he was asleep, she used fentanyl by inhaling the powder. It is very concerned about Ms. Santana's actions uh, and the safety of the victim. Santana remains in jail tonight. Her bond is set at $10,000 cash. Now, if she is released, she will have to wear an ankle monitor and be drug tested. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.